TV show, and I just, you know, wanted to ask you a couple of questions about what you do. You're obviously in uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, some of the the newer ones, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the I uh, I've done a few of those. Uh, only one Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but uh, my uh -huh. name is Lou Temple, and. Uh, I'm part of, uh, of the horror genre, starting with The Devil's Rejects, Rob Zombie, played nice. Adam Banjo, which was, uh, which was a great character, and we made an album, uh, Banjo and Sullivan, the 10 fantastic songs. How's that? You're listening. Is that country music? Or it is, is country bluegrass. Yeah? Yeah, of course it has the uh, very popular single, I'm at home getting hammered while she's out getting nailed. <laughs> Uh, also for Rob Zombie, I've done Halloween, uh, his first rendition of Halloween, where I played Noel Cluggs, the uh, uh, ir irascible, um, uh, very nice, a sane asylum attendant that attended to Michael Myers. Texas Ch Chainsaw Massacre uh, had a hand in apprehending Leatherface. I was the original Sheriff Hoyt. After mm -hmm. Arlie Lee Ermey uh, did, did identity theft. Um, I've done movies like uh, Trailer Park of Terror, with a, uh, a group of, uh, of zombies living in the trailer park. Can't beat that. Everything goes well with a, uh, a trailer park, right? Well, everybody loves zombies, too, so that's just... Zombies are in vogue. Well, speaking everything. of yeah. that, I just recently have completed a movie called Zombax in Texas with Malcolm McDowell and Sid Haig. Really? Tom Araya is a guy that sings for a band called Slayer. Uh, there is uh, yeah, yeah, John Doe's in this, this, this we're, movie. We're familiar with Slayer. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, believe it yeah. or not, yeah. They, uh, <laughs> they, I think... I think they might land. They they got the, they got a good start. They're just kids. So what are you doing with Malcolm McDowell? Because that's Clockwork Orange yeah. guy, right? Uh, and Malcolm, he's a Malcolm real... is very cheeky, chappy. Um, we've been knowing since uh, since we got together in Halloween with uh, Rob Zombie, and uh, uh, we thought that this this would be a good project directed by Jesse Dayton down in Texas who is Captain Clegg in some of Rob Zombie's uh, music, as well as his number two rendition of Halloween. So uh, that is pretty cool. We've got all that going for us. And then occasionally I'll slip out of the genre and do a movie like Unstoppable with Denzel Washington. Uh, yeah. yeah. Chase, that ch chase that train in the red truck. I'm Ned. And, uh, I haven't got to see that yet, but that's fairly new. That's what's out right now on HBO. If you're watching, that's within the last year or so that it came yeah, out in theaters, it did. right? Yeah. yeah, and it did really well. It's big blockbuster, Tony Scott action film. I think I remember seeing Reed Timmer from Storm Chasers doing some kind of promo for that movie. Did you ever get to cross paths with him? I don't mix with Reed much because no. there's always trouble to be found around him. There's always some inclement weather, and I like bluebird right. weather. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm I'm all about sunny days and shiny skies. Right. But uh, and then I have a a, a a little picture called Rango, which was an animated feature. Yes, we've all heard of that. That's we're, pretty uh, popular. We're on Mr. Um, on Mr. Fergus, the the owner of the general store down there. And I, I <laughs> make sure I look out for beans in that Rango film. Right. Um, so we had a good time doing that, and um, Johnny Depp is pleasant to work with. And so doing As those is Gore Verbinski. Doing those animation type movies, is that, would you prefer that more than doing a, a feature film? To be film animated, I always prefer to be animated. It's yeah? a lot more fun. Things can hit you and you don't get hurt. Uh, right. The animated process was great in this particular one because it was cutting edge. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't actually sit in the sound booth and read our lines and then they drew us. They actually filmed us. And so we did, um, uh, we did the work. Uh, and it was a new process, George Lucas, who uh, has this Star Wars thing coming out. Uh, I think I think that's going to land too with the kids. Um, so he his crew did this thing over at ILM. Uh, it's a new process where we didn't do motion capture; they just filmed us acting like these animals, and then took our our physicality and put them on the 3D. Uh, 3D renditions of our characters, but they did hear our voices. So uh, it was us, and it was easier for the animators then to draw our emotions. So, wow. Rango was cool. Uh, 
Rob Zombie's cool. Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's a good one. I've dealt with Michael Myers and Otis and uh, Leatherface. That's pretty legendary to have dealt with all those major characters. It is. Uh, it that's, is. That's the incredible. IRS is worse. I, yeah. I can say that. <laughs> Not that I've ever had that personal experience, nor do I hope to. Uh, but yeah, those are those are bad dudes. So you working with all the? I mean, you're right in the middle of the current technology. Where do you think that technology is going in movies right now? What are we going to see with the development of 3D and the? It's a good question. Animation? I'm doing a movie right now. Uh, called Lincoln, Saving Lincoln, and we're using a lot of uh, 3D graphic back projection to re recreate the Civil War as we're acting out in Gettysburg. So I think that a lot of the, um, I think the environment will, will be uh, in place for where we're, uh, where we're supposed to be as opposed to uh, trying to recreate it. I think we'll just take it from where it was and, and put it there. So. so we're almost to the point where we can recreate uh, almost any time, uh, almost perfectly. I think I think pretty good. And um, I mean, or or not just any time in the past, but maybe time in the future. Cut right. to Avatar or yes. Transformers, right? And I mean, they've been talking about recently um, creating characters completely digitally and bringing back yeah, like, like John Wayne. Like, I could act with John Wayne. Like exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Or or how far away do you think that possibility is? And have you probably seen, yesterday? Have you seen? They probably just didn't invite me. <laughs> I'm sure, Johnny Depp gets to act with John Wayne all the time. I, I never do, but um, right. Uh, as long as they, you know, keep me in mind for Three Stooges. Or, yeah, you know, man. Laurel and Hardy or something. Uh, so you're really I don't know you're about, optimistic. I don't, that that's right yeah, around the corner. Yeah, I think, I think. I'm not sure that we will need to recreate personalities because we have so many today. But you know, we're we're always recreating the stories. You know what I mean? Right. We're remaking a lot of our, our classic films. So, mm -hmm. but I think there's a, there's a part of that that gives new audiences, young audiences, an opportunity or a taste of that classic. And I think then we can get some building some classic personalities in our present time. So I'm not sure. Even though it would be cool to see Johnny Depp and Humphrey Bogart do a scene. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure my daughter knows who Humphrey Bar Bogart is, or right. needs, not needs to, but or wants to, but she's really happy about Justin Bieber. That's a good point, though. I mean, as people get older, then that's not really even necessary. But of course, the it's John hard Wayne's, to get the John Romeo Wayne's and, and, the, and the Marilyn in Monroe's will always be in demand. And yeah, so. I think we'll always have them, even though, even though we're not put tattooing them on our arms as much as we used to. Well, so what are you working on right now? What's the, Lincoln, what's the Saving next movie? Lincoln. Okay, so that's saving the one Lincoln. that's going to be coming out. I think I want to do uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino's new movie. And I, I want to do Gore Verbinski's new movie called The Lone Ranger. And I want to do... Uh, who else is working? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, Tony I want to see you movie. in Quentin Tarantino's new movie. Django that's Unchained. Sure. That would be great. That's going to be a good one. Okay. Good well, good deal, man. It sounds like you're going in a good direction. And um, forward. Absolutely. It's always, it's always go. good. Amen. Or if you go back, pick something up. Erase your footprint. Well, right on, man. Okay, I, guys. It's thanks. good to have met you out here. And thanks for uh, being on KC Anthem TV. Love KC Anthem. Good on KC Anthem. Good on us all. Thank you're going to be sir. a bear, be a grizzly.